Have you ever heard that light roast has a higher caffeine content than dark roast? Maybe it's being used somewhere as a selling point to get you to buy a specific coffee. Well, today on Coffee or Die, we're gonna address the myth of roast level and caffeine content. I'm drinking a very light roasted coffee, so I should be pretty energized, right? I mean, according to the rest of the coffee industry, I should be jumping out of my Hello Kitty panties. To tell you the truth though, I don't feel anything. As far as caffeine goes though, this isn't doing anything for me that a dark roasted coffee couldn't do. The idea that a lightly roasted coffee contains more caffeine than others is a popular myth, but I think it may have started as a misinterpretation of what's actually happening to the chemistry of the bean as it's being roasted. So let's start with the green coffee. This is coffee in its unroasted form. And at this point, the coffee is a complex store of carbohydrates, acids, fats, protein, sugars, and of course, caffeine. Now, caffeine isn't in the coffee because it knows that we're gonna roast it and then crush it and then drink the seed juice. It's a part of the coffee plant's natural mechanism against insect damage. Unfortunately, the coffee boar beetle does not give a fuck about this and will bore into the fruit and lay its eggs anyway. Now, some species of coffee naturally pack more caffeine in them, but for the most part, we're consuming Arabica, which has a lower caffeine content than the Robusta species. Next, coffee will get roasted, and when this happens, complex chemical reactions will occur, causing attributes like acidity, sweetness, and bitterness to become perceptible, as well as the Maillard reaction occurring, which is what turns the coffee beans brown. Now the darker we roast, organic acid levels will be influenced, as well as the breakdown of natural sugars. The physical structure of the bean will also change, with darker coffees expanding, becoming more brittle, rapidly releasing CO2, and pushing oils to the surface. But what does this do to caffeine? Well, as we roast, caffeine should be pretty stable, and roasting out that chemical isn't really a concern. What we should be more concerned with is the actual density of light versus dark roast. Light roasted coffee will typically be denser, and as a result of how the expansion of the bean is influenced by the roasting process, they'll also be a bit smaller. Darker roasted coffee, on the other hand, will be less dense, and although they're bigger, it will require more dark roasted beans to equal the same weight of light roasted beans. So even if slightly more caffeine is lost as we roast darker, you would still require a higher number of dark roasted beans to equal the same weight in light roasted beans, making the trade-off negligible. Further still, darker roast coffees actually release soluble compounds at a faster rate than light roasted coffees. This means that it requires less work to get those solubles out of them. Worth meaning, we won't require finer grinds or hotter water temperatures to extract what's actually inside that coffee. As a result, it may actually be easier to extract caffeine from darker roast coffees than light roasted coffees. So the next time someone tells you that light roast coffee has a higher caffeine content than dark roast coffee, ask them if they're a politician or a lawyer. When they're visibly confused by that statement, you can follow up with, well, the way you just lied to me so easily makes me think that you're professionally employed in that line of business. On that note, that's all I've got. Thank you so much for stopping by. Do me a favor and like and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next episode of Coffee or Die. I also got to be very careful with my hand gestures so I don't poke my fucking hand on this. Imagine, imagine me just coming down with my hand to point something out and I just fucking impale my shit on this, this fucking knife. Even these arrows could fuck me up. This could all fuck me up. This is a very dangerous- OH SHIT! <laughs> oh my god, that's a dangerous prop.